Well, we've been running kayaking trips on the Kettle River for the last 10 years, and if we lose control of what happens to the river locally, then it affects our business and most of the tourists that come to this area in a huge way. There isn't a day that somebody doesn't come into our shop and say, um, what's there to do around here? What's there to see? First thing we do is say, have you seen the falls? Have you seen the Cascade Gorge? And many people say, no, what's that? So we send them down here and it's absolutely spectacular. And it's, there's nothing like it on the Kettle River. If we lose the ability to say what happens to this river on a local basis, we lose much of our tourism base and a lot of the natural features that we want to see preserved. Tell me, how will this uh, dam affect yourself? Well, the access to the, the falls viewing point where we are now, and, and uh, east and west of here, the construction would prohibit us from coming in here for close to two years, right. and then would forever alter the, the landscape that we bring our guests here to view, the natural landscape. We don't want to be bringing them to a construction site, per se. Right. So you have land tenure here, then? Yes, we do. Uh, right along the Trans-Canada Trail through this area that we're in and uh, to the east up the Trans-Canada Trail and Dooney Trail. So e economics, it would uh, it would probably hurt your business? Yes, it would. We only have a two-month window here where the people come uh, in the summer. July and August is our big months and uh, we'd lose a lot of business from that, unfortunately. Well, and get us going to